Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today we're going to make this electric tractor roll. Here you go. It's uh, rolling up my driveway. Uh, but before we get ahead of ourselves, I want to show you how I did that. Uh, first of all, I'm not doing any background music, so you can hear the tractor compared to birds chirping and the traffic going by behind me. Uh, this is about a 20 horsepower brushless DC motor. It's a Mott Energy brand, and I'm running it with a... Robotech brand motor controller uh, powered off just a small 48 volt battery pack. Now what I've done is I have a little uh, thumbstick, uh, kind of a joystick throttle that I have wired up on a couple of feet uh, worth of wire. That way I can stand away from the tractor uh, for testing it so if something uh, goes wrong I don't get run over. Uh, also pretty much all the safety features on the motor controller I have turned on. Uh, the motor is only spinning in the one direction just like the engine would have. Uh, that protects the transmission and makes sure that the PTO spins the correct direction as well. The transmission itself is not changed and I'll be shifting between uh, first gear and reverse. Now just shifting into reverse. I also have regenerative braking hooked up. Check this out. Look how quickly the tractor slowed down. That was just uh, me flipping the little joystick throttle the other direction for the regenerative braking. Uh, that's the only braking going on here. Uh, I am not sitting on the tractor, so I can't actually press the brake pedal. So all the braking you see um, going on right now is just the regenerative brakes. Uh, I think this next time is actually when I went a little too fast towards the garage and look how quickly I stopped the tractor and did not whack into the garage door there. Here we go, different angle. You can see I'm uh, a few feet back away from the tractor so I don't get run over. One of the other neat features of this motor controller is it's really good about setting uh, an acceleration and deceleration ramp. And by adjusting them a little bit, um, I get really smooth starting and stopping with the motor control. So next I was brave enough to hop up onto the tractor, release the parking brake, put it in gear, and off I go. Um, I did notice that the steering was pretty stiff. Uh, this tractor does have power steering, but I don't have the hydraulics running right now, so I'm not getting any of that hydraulic assist. Uh, I also noticed that um, the entire steering box was actually rotating a little bit, and that was partly because I was missing two long bolts that normally would have gone into the engine, so I'll have to replace those as well. One other thing that I notice here is the front end kind of has a little bit of a wobble, and that's because the front wheels can't uh, teeter-totter back and forth the way they're designed to because the yoke is uh, pretty much held in place by those uh, side rails. Uh, so then it's uh, set the parking brake, turn off the motor controller, and walk away. And remember, this whole thing is really one big experiment. I've been learning a lot working on it. Uh, next time we'll take a look at the steering, the PTO, and we're still considering uh, using a Nissan Leaf motor in this project. We've also got a battery on its way. So make sure you subscribe, check us out on Patreon, and until next time, stay charged up.